Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the Yakima Exosystem with the swing base and the gear locker here on our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So the Yakima Exosystem is a mix and match system. You just put the swing base onto your hitch and then you can add all kinds of different accessories from the gear locker to a bike rack to a ski and snowboard carrier. You can even get the top shelf to get a second level of accessories. So please check out our product pages here at eTrailer just to find a lot more information about each and every accessory. But right here, right now, we're gonna take a look at how this kit works with our vehicle. We're gonna take a look at some dimensions, some measurements, some ground clearance, things that you will wanna know when you live with this kind of kit on your car. So first we'll take a look at ground clearance. The Exo system with the swing base is the base of our system. So no matter what kind of accessory you have on top, your ground clearance is gonna stay the same. So measuring from underneath our arms to the ground, it's 15 and a half inches of ground clearance. And then measuring from right underneath the shank to the ground, it's 12 inches of ground clearance. So ground clearance is important whenever you go up steep inclines like driveways or hills, or you go over holes or potholes or bumps, you're gonna wanna consider the ground clearance behind you because as your front goes up, your back will go down. Now this is still gonna be more helpful than let's say a longer trailer where your ground clearance and length added to the vehicle is a big difference compared to when it's on your hitch. So we're gonna take a measurement now for your length added to the back of your Jeep Grand Cherokee. So measuring from your bumper, which is going to sit right over there, to the back of your swing base, it sits at 33 and a quarter inches. Now your gear locker is going to sit about an inch further than that, so it will be at about 34 and a quarter inches um, of length added to the back of your vehicle. So just remember that length whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a tight spot. We'll also take a look at how this works on our Jeep Grand Cherokee, especially when you have it swung away. So the swing base large knob is over here in the back. Now there is kind of a tight fit behind your gear locker that you're gonna have to consider. From the bumper to the end of the knob, it sits at about three and a half inches away. So that's just the clearance you have around here to reach towards that knob and rotate it. So just rotate it until you have it loosened. And once that's released, you can then pull this knob and then push out on the swing base a full 90 degrees. So this is now completely swung out. You have a clearance between your hatch door to your gear locker of about six and a half inches. So plenty of space right over there. You can definitely open up your hatch, grab your gear, your chairs, your table, your, even your large coolers, since you have all this space to work with, with that gear locker swung away. Now, if you do have the top shelf with it swung away, you will have to swing the top shelf back towards your vehicle in order to access it. You can also open up your gear locker from this side if you wanna access your gear locker. Now, if you want to, you can also just swing it right back for easy access. So pull that knob in the corner and bring this back into place. Swing it up and use that large knob again to tighten it down. A thing about that is this is a very important step since this is holding your swing base together and you definitely want this secure before you ride around town. Now the clearance between our Jeep Grand Cherokee's bumper and our gear locker is seven inches of space between that, which is also a brief glimpse into how much space you have to fit into it. This has a weight capacity of 100 pounds on our swing base. If you have it on our top shelf, it's an 80 pound weight capacity. The gear locker is an enclosed cargo carrier. So if you have items that you need protected from the elements, Let's say your luggage, your suitcases, your clothes, your first aid kit, this is what I would go with. Now if it's things that can be outside like your coolers or your boxes that are waterproof, you can have that on the cargo basket 
which is the Gear Warrior. This is a great pairing with other items. So you can have your bike rack on top or your ski and snowboard on top. And that also frees up the roof rack on your Jeep Grand Cherokee for even more accessories, even more cargo. So check out the Gear Locker page for an introduction into its dimensions, its capacities, as well as what can fit into it. But this was a really quick look here at our Yakima Exosystem with the Gear Locker here on our 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee.